Welcome back YouTube, this is going to be episode 4 of our Let's Play series. Um, we left off, we just found the coastal cave uh, Grace, and we are going to explore this cave, see where it takes us. I'm hoping it brings us out to this little island so we can see what is out here, and uh, hopefully it's something pretty cool. Um, once we get done exploring that, we are going to head back over to the Agil Lake and run up this channel and see if there is anything up in that area that is... Uh, worth noting um as much stuff as that's in this game so far i'm going to say there's probably something in there um but with that out of the way let's get to it this cave's pretty dark i do recommend bringing a torch with you pick up some cave moss we got an enemy there Cave moss, probably gonna be a lot of cave moss in this this dungeon. Pick up this item, and it is a land octopus ovary. That looks like a boss room, so we're gonna hold off on that for the moment. See what's around this corner over here. Oh, midair hit. That sucks. And some cave moss. This looks like a dead end, so we're forced to go this way. Gold summon sign. Old knight. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and uh, summon him. Most likely this means that there is a boss down here. Let's see what kind of damage he can do. Or at least take some aggro off of us. Summon our spirits. And uh, let's see what we got. Uh, boss fight. They are wrecking me. First one's down. Couple. I've got no health potions. Nope, he got me. Alright, let's try this again. I'm just gonna run straight to the boss room.
Go and grab this summon sign again. Both back in the fight again. Just really hoping to get one of them killed before the second one joined in. First one's down. Let's get the second one taken care of. That is that. Tailoring tools and a sewing needle. Not sure exactly what those are used for. Used to alter your garments at a grace. Okay. thing here will take us back to the beginning of the cave but we're gonna keep pushing through explore some more see where it takes us Smoldering butterfly Sweet, we are on the island. Okay, time to explore and see what's over here. Hopefully it's something pretty cool. So Grace, let's go ahead and grab that. Get our flask back just in case there is anything we gotta fight over here. Let's see. <coughs> Gives me the option to alter garments now, but not really seeing what it's doing. It looks like I'm actually losing stats by altering it. So well, maybe I don't have enough garments to alter. We'll figure that out sometime later I'm not sure if it even makes a big deal or if it's just aesthetics and we don't have enough to level up yet so the church of dragon communion Okay, <clears throat> I 
I'm assuming that every time you kill a dragon, you get one of the hearts, and you can exchange that for a dragon spell. Um, one looks like it lets you shoot a breath of fire, one looks like a claw, and one looks like a bite. Um, might be pretty cool if you wanted to, if these are good, to, to do like a dragon boy build. You can run around with nothing but dragon spells and pretend like you're a dragon killing everything. Um, not sure if they're good or more of just a gimmick, but it's cool that it's in the game. Maybe there's going to be more than just those three spells. Well, uh, we'll have to keep playing to find out. Got an item. Exalted flesh. Raises your attack power, it looks like. Far to the east, you will see the Cathedral of Dragons. So, I wonder if there's another dragon communion area where you can turn in dragon hearts and uh, get more spells. Let's see if there's anything else we missed in here. Looks like it's mostly just a bunch of statues and stuff. There's an item. Looks like that might be all that's out here. Alright, so with that being said, we're going to carry on and head back over towards this lake and run up this channel, see what's up there. probably going to go to the Agil Lake South Grace and just run north. Definitely don't think we are powerful enough to take on quite a few of the bosses in this area. So far we've seen the dragon and the tree sentinel, which was the first guy on the horse when we first got to Limgrave. Um, I'm sure there's quite a few other bosses that we just aren't powerful enough to get yet, but in the future we will have a video where we come back and we clear out all these bosses. Fire Grease, a bunch of skellies, we're just going to run past these guys, see what's up here. Hmm, it does look like there's a cave, sweet. Invaded by... Bloody finger narrages. Fun. Let's see what this guy can do. Oh. Okay, he can uh apparently just throw a bloody dagger at you and stack a blood loss. Awesome. Alright, I don't think I have anything that can negate blood loss, but it would be cool if I did. Doesn't look like it. Maybe I can craft something. Mm, nope. 
still doesn't look like it. I may not have learned that recipe yet. So we're just gonna have to keep fighting until we push through it. all this stuff again just to get to this guy and try to take him out looks like a uh, NPC was automatically being summoned to help me with this fight but I didn't survive long enough give me back my souls runes I'm gonna forever call them souls just like the graces I'm probably gonna forever call them bonfires just because Years of playing these games, that's what I'm used to calling them. I'm sure a lot of people are the same way. Alright, let's do this again. Poke, poke. Stacked up blood loss right through my shield. Oh, that's annoying. Alright, let's do it again. Hopefully we can get him this time and uh, push into that cave and see what's in there. some of this uh, fire grease to my weapon and see if that'll help out a little do a little bit more damage to him Got him. Hell yeah. Summoning players. Pretty straightforward. Yellow signs are going to be your allies. Red signs are going to be enemies. Looks like I got a dagger. Causes blood buildup of 30. 
I'm assuming the weapon art of that is you you throw that blood blade like he was doing to me. Be pretty cool for a, a blood build, bleed build, whatever you want to call it. Right. <clears throat> On to what we were trying to get to. This cave. Murkwater cave. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, stop at this grace. Try to level up. able to hear me at all <sighs> you've been able to hear me at all <sighs> all right got endurance to 15. Mushroom. All that for a mushroom. Let's see. Well, let's this way. And it looks like a boss fight. With no boss. Open. Cloth garb. Patches. Oh, shit. You surrender. Golden Rune One. Growl for mercy. What's that? Patches is back. I just wonder if I can go back and actually buy anything off of him now. Let's, uh, let's touch this. I'll just 
this run through real quick. Buy gold pick foul foot, fan daggers, Margaret's shackle. Seems like that could be important. Missionary's cookbook two. We're gonna buy that. Okay, so. Oh, not another trap. What is it bringing me to this time? Oh. Okay, right next to a giant bear. There's a map fragment over here. Let's see if we can get that right there. Map found. What is this place? Siofra River Well. Can't go there. More places to explore now. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? What are you? I think I need to find a grace in order to get out of here. Third Church of Marika. All right, and I think that's going to end this video. We uh we explored and found the Church of Dragon Communion by going through the coastal cave. We fought the NPC invader and got his dagger, and we went through Murkwater Cave, fought patches and ended up getting teleported over to here found the grace here so we're going to end it here and come back in the next video and we're going to explore either this area or this area along this ridge anyways see you guys in the next one